Hopefully they don't think I'm stealing this music because it's just coming out of this, but oh, you can hear that so pretty. Classic, classic stuff. Yes, it feels so good to be back in the studio. Uh, actually, it's more challenging than I thought to actually shoot in a hotel room. And check it out, this just arrived a few days ago. We have Break Me Up Scotty Tape. Yeah. Dear, I'm going to give you Break Me Up Scotty Eyes. There you go. Dear, no lips, no eyes. All about Break Me Up. Break Me Up Scotty! Break Me Up Scotty! Welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at this. Yeah, this is something totally new for me, and it was released, I think, a couple years ago. So this is Zingbo's Castle in the Sky XB05001, 1,179 pieces. So this build is actually based on a Japanese anime way back then. It's an awesome, amazing cartoon. Go watch it. Castle in the Sky, also known as Laputa. Laputa. Now my Mexican homies, don't get that wrong. It's pronounced Laputa. Don't say it the other way. Kids, don't listen to me. Anyway, look, this is so awesome. So I'm guessing the build for this would kind of have to be intermediate because yeah, there's some pieces that fall apart, but when you build these things long enough, you know that you keep some of the things off to the side, come back to it later, and it kind of goes snug into place. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But you know, for right now, this is a music box. The whole thing moves and rotates. You feel like mission accomplished when you put it together. You just feel like satisfaction. You're like, oh, I can't believe it's all working. So let's just take a minute, listen to this music, check out how this thing rotates, it's so good, like check it out. Okay, I'm gonna wind this up. I know it's not a modular city, but and I wish there was more of these, you know? Here it goes, ready? Let's just listen, just close your eye. The music is so good, by the way. Look at the beautiful clouds. I could just sit here all day and just look at this rotate. Maybe I wound it up too much. I'm waiting for it to stop now. Oh, you're still going. You done? Oh, it's starting to stop. Stop so I can talk. Come on. Almost. Yes, no, stop. Ah, that was so beautiful. That was so touching and beautiful. It's just amazing. It actually really, really works. Let's take a look at it from the bottom and work our way up as usual. We'll start here. The music box itself, it actually really works. You just wind it up and it starts to go. Really cool stuff. And on the front here, you can see a sign that says Laputa, Castle in the Sky, 2017. Oh, that must be the date when this thing came out. How silly of me, I didn't even see that. It came out March 23rd, 2017. So the sign does kind of fold and you can actually see all the mechanics here. The base is actually the fastest and easiest to build. It's just this part here that gets kind of crazy. So we'll just look on the sides here. That is so cool. You can actually see the motors like going up and down. I just thought it would fall apart knowing that, you know, a lot of these brands, people say that the, the clutch is not so good, things will fall apart. It didn't fall apart on me. It's actually all in one piece except for one major piece. You just got to make sure on the instruction manual that like you actually see the proper gear that you're using back here. I think I may have swapped one out for another one by mistake and wondering why isn't it turning and then I realized it was the wrong wheel. Take your time, ease into it and you'll be fine. The one thing I super super love about the set is actually the clouds here. They are really loose when they sit on the, the, the Technic or the Technic pipes. It still goes up and down, but it gives that illusion of the sky. And of course, we come here to the other side and more gears. Look at all those gears. And they use like little gold pieces here and there, kind of like spice up the design a little bit. And this gold plate thing, I'm not quite sure what that represents, but it looks really cool. I like it. It's all being held by one metal bar. It's, it won't like completely tip over. If, like no matter how I do it, it's not gonna fall over. But we're gonna take it off and I'm gonna show it to you right now. The upper part. Oh, look at that, it's like a modular city. And the music's still going. So here it is. It's actually sturdy right now. I'm missing a couple studs here. They didn't have those two in there, but that's easy to find, I'll replace those. But there you go, this is supposed to be a floating island. There's a whole backstory into it, but story short is, if I can recall it correctly, a couple kids find this island in the sky, and a bunch of stuff is about to go down. It's amazing, seriously, go watch it, no spoilers. But anyway, you got the, like the bottom floor here of the city, and the middle floor. 
And up on the top here is like a little bridge that goes across. That is so neat. The illusion of this, I just like this. This is so fantasy and the way that like they built it together is so nice. And you got this big blooming tree here with this little pink thing. You might be wondering, what is that pink thing there? That is an airplane. They have a lot of planes in this movie. They have to use a lot of planes to get to the castle. Now on the inside in the middle, it's really hard to see here. There's a little vase or like a, like a cover with a blue thing inside. And actually you can see that symbol on the front here on the sign. And that actually represents the pendant that is integral part of the storytelling in the cartoon. That pendant is awesome. And I actually have that necklace somewhere. Go to Japan, go to the studio, Ghibli studio. There's a theme park there. Go buy one of those pendants because it's just, they're so cool. It'll float you up to the city. So what I'm talking about here that's actually quite challenging is the bottom part. This part here that you're seeing can fall off quite easily, especially if you just pull it like that. They'll have you build this and it will always fall off on you. If it starts falling off on you, if you get super, super frustrated, my tip, put it down, have a glass of water, take a nice deep breath, cool off, don't get frustrated, take those pieces, put them aside. When you start building the the second tier and the third, it all starts to come together. Then what you do is you start putting these pieces back together here. I actually took this off like this, put it upside down and built it backwards and it stays nice and secure. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. And that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. This is an amazing set piece, people. I want a modular floating city. So let's talk about this thing here. This part is the part that I have an issue with. It holds really secure when you go a little bit lower to where this little groove is, but it's a little bit, little bit too low. There's almost too much of a gap. So if you want to raise it higher, it's too loose. Now in the book, it says that it should actually snap to the bottom of here, but it won't snap in proper. If you guys can snap it in, if, you, if you're going to challenge yourself, let me know how you do it, because I can tell you it's almost impossible without it completely falling apart. What I did was I just put some tape here to just kind of hold it up. Here, I'll take the tape off. You can see there's quite a bit of a gap there. So if I want to put it, push it up, I'll kind of hold up. I, can't, I think it depends on the angle. It's holding up right now, but it will slip down eventually over time. You can see what I'm talking about right there. I think that was my only, only small issue. And if you try to push it in really tight, it's going to pop off those bottom pieces. So yeah, don't, don't try that. I can kind of, I had it so good earlier. Oh, it was so close. There's a little piece, a little black piece here, where I guess if I pull it down, it'll kind of hold it up. That works too. That's not so bad. And you can push down pretty hard, it won't go anywhere. It does look kind of scary when you go like that, yeah. Looks like someone wants to fall over. So there you guys go. This is Zingbo's Castle in the Sky, Laputa. Go watch the movie if you haven't watched it. Go find it. If I find the link on YouTube for the full film, I'm just gonna put it in the description. You guys have to go watch it, it's so amazing. And if you haven't seen it, buy this one, and then go back and watch it. You'll really like it, trust me, it's a really good cartoon. I love this piece. All right, guys. Until next time, break me out. If you're one of the lucky ones that just started ordering from me, you'll probably see these all over your boxes. I was slap happy, smashing these things all over the boxes. Man, I gotta watch the cartoon again. I haven't seen it for so long. Let's watch it together. Maybe I'll live stream us watching the cartoon together. No, that just doesn't, that would be weird. And it's all being held by one, see that? Ooh, you like my little hat? It's like a party hat. Halloween costume, yo. Dress yourself up as one of the characters and wear this on your head. You're good to go. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com and the pricing is not too bad actually, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm in love with this thing the more I look at it. It's just so peaceful to look at, I guess you could say. It's awesome, it's amazing. I should make a series of Scotty's Floating City. So make sure you like this video. The more likes I get, the more that might convince me that I'm gonna build Scotty's Floating City. And don't forget to watch Nausicaa's Valley in the Wind, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, House Moving Castle. There's lots and lots of Studio Ghibli film. They are all amazing. They're more adult themed, but they're so, so good. Don't fall asleep on us now, guy. Please don't forget to subscribe here on Scotty's face. Watch some videos you might not have seen here. And even more over here. Now go watch the movie. You need to watch it right now.